Yes. 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 At last. There's so long. There's so much stress for the annoying Xbox One. I don't know who Dealer Spark is, but it's finally time. Even though we got the crappy Xbox version, we can still play it. Just a Nintendo. Banjo Kazooie, baby. Let's get started. You can file one, file two, or file three. Let's do one. Let's wake Banjo up. It's time to meet one of my favorite video game villains of all time. A childhood classic. Pot by the bench. Who is the nicest looking wench? Why, it's Grunty any day. She really takes my breath away. <laughs> yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My legs stand me out from the crowd. Uh, but there is this girl. What do you mean? This cannot be. There's no one prettier than me! Why, it's Tootie, young and small. She's the prettiest girl of all. No, 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 you must be mad! Nicer beauty can't be had! Unfortunately, I think you'll find it's Tootie. She's cute and kind. Well, see about that! And that will be one of her few sentences that doesn't rhyme. We have a big scary castle in the distance. Hi there, Tootie! What are you going to do today? My big lazy brother wakes up! We're going on an adventure! Uh, yeah, like in Banjo Tilly, get delayed cutscenes and music. Wake up! I wanna go on an adventure too! Brock? If Tootie thinks she's fairer than me, I'll steal her looks and ugly she'll be! Is that your brother? Where, Mr. Mole? I can't see him! Up there in the sky! I don't think so. Who's that? Come to me, my little pretty. You'll soon be ugly. What a pity. Let me go, you ugly old hag. Don't scratch and bite, my little bear. You'll soon need bigger underwear. Oh no, she's got her. Somebody, help. Banjo, wake up. 
Now! Here's the thing, this cutscene was supposed to have... Oh, what do you want, Kazooie? Let's get outside, there's trouble! <laughs> this cutscene was supposed to have... Feeding sounds outside when, you know, Trudy was getting kidnapped, but the Xbox version removes that because they're stupid. So yeah, Banjo can't jump for shit. Let's get rid of that problem. Listen up, fun bottles, a short side mole! I'm Banjo, and this here's my buddy Kazooie. Sure is a strange looking buddy, Banjo, can't talk? Better than you can, Goggle Boy. What was all that noise about? Where's my sister Tootie? Piggly Witch Grotel swooped that out of the sky and grabbed her! Calm down, Geeky, we'll get her back. Where'd she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous, so you'll probably need some training before you go up there. Press A if you want me to teach you some basic moves, or press B if you think you're already good enough. Well, I'll just accept training. We'd like some help bottles. What do we do? Explore this area and look out for my molehills. Stand next to them and press X to call me. See you soon! So I don't get how they don't how they don't know bottles since he lives right outside their house. Well, okay, I guess he kind of lives underground, but he still is in the general area, and Tootie knows him. Was he Tootie's secret friend or something? Uh, anyone home? Hello again. Let's start with the camera controls. They're on the right stick. Jeez, that's nothing special. Try this then, Biggie. Tap the right or left bumper to move the camera behind Manja. Is that all, Worm Breath? No, hold the right or left bumper to keep the camera behind your feathery butt. Try it all. I see you at the next molehill. So yeah, we get the ability to control our camera. Whee! So let's learn jumping. Why not? It's a platformer after all. Uh, your jump could do with some help. Ha! What do moles know about jumping? More than you. Press A to jump and hold it to jump higher. Come on, feathers. You can give him a hand. Why? I'll look silly, I know it! Jump the press A again in the air for a double jump! That's it, we're ready to move on! Not until you learn this one first, you must stand like this! What? Wearing ridiculous glasses and a silly grin? I'm not listening! Hold the right or left trigger, then press A for the mighty flip flip! Sh whatever, the back flip basically! That's all the jumps! Keep practicing! So, for each new move we learn here in this level zero... Yeah, this is, uh, level zero, by the way, Spiral Mountain. I'm an extra honeycomb piece. Collect six of us to increase your energy bar. By the way, since it's a rare game, everything needs to talk. Including internet objects. Kind of creepy, especially when you fight the conquer. Banjo, it's time for you to learn the close swipe attack! What is it? I must know! Simply press X when standing still or moving slowly! Sounds good! What can I try it out on? Well, how about bird brain? Just try it, bottle boy! No, the kidding! Let me find something with a challenge! Ah! There's Topper! Welcome, Banjo! Well, now I know how to do it, but... Wow! Nice one! Try another! Hey! I want some moves! And yeah, enemies do not hurt you in the hub world. Or level zero. Now try me! Fierce and forward roll! I want to learn to fly now! Roll by running and pressing X! I'll see if I can find ball for you to practice on! It's an onion! Bullseye! One more! Stop rolling! I feel sick! They really don't use that move much. Or the claw swipe. It's time for the buzzer to learn a trick! It had better be a good one, Squinty! Try out the rat a tat rat by jumping and pressing X in the air! Now where's Collie Wobble? Yeah, this is the one we'll mostly be using. Hmm, not bad, Feather Face. Give me another, bug eyes! So yeah, Zooey does most of the damage in this game. And we get a honey cookies. You've learned all the basic attacks now, so you're around! Actually, there's one more basic attack we can do. Well, in this level at least. And we're gonna learn it right now. And by doing that, enemies appear. And now they hurt us. We don't want that. 
Ooh, I'm sticky tasty honey energy. My big barge tight needs the help of all chicken legs. At least I've got some legs short stuff. Hold the right or left trigger and press X for a powerful beaky barge. Beaky barge, aha! See, Pancha, she is useful for something. I'm trying this move out on you next, Jam Jars. Oh, foreshadowing. <laughs> so, yeah, basic attack that we, well, we don't really uh, use it in battle too much, but you'll see. Usually for puzzles like that. Hey, Pancha, I hope you're not afraid of heights. I'm not! Tell me about flying, Root Muncher! Not yet! Banjo, jump onto a tree, then use the left stick to climb up or down! Yep, basic power. Climbing. You'll find plenty of other things to climb! Fancy learning to swim underwater? Ooh, sounds difficult, and I'll get my fur wet. Come on, Banjo, I want to swim! Spell the beans, Specky! Use the left stick to swim on the surface, to swim underwater, press X to dive, go on, give it a try. That's it, you've learned all the basic moves. Meet me at the top of the spiral mountain and I'll tell you what to do next. Oh, -ho. oh underwater, Banjo can press A to kick his legs, and the winged wonder can press X to use her wings. Let's mostly be doing the... Water! Unless we have to slow down and redirection and jump. Um... So one more thing we can, um... Get. It's over there! We don't really need any moves for this one other than the jump. So yeah, we used to get two... Two, um, honeycombs using the jump ability. And if we find the six hunk of pieces in the level zero, we get extra health. And extra life. Look out for me, I'm in extra life. They get rid of me in Banjo Tui, so you get infinite lives, making the game totally easy. <laughs> you have no idea. So now that we've done all that, we can head on up the mountain. The bear climbed over the mountain. Bear climbed over the mountain. Uh, the mountain. What do you, you saw? A giant ugly witch's face. Well done, guys! You're ready to tackle the witch now! We sure are! Show us the way, Bottle Boy! I fixed the bridge so you can cross it and enter Crentilla's lair! Thanks, Bottles! Look out for me inside! Good luck! I get this creepy music. Say goodbye to the happiness of Spiral Mountain. And for some stupid reason, we need the right stick to control the camera in first-person mode. The left stick doesn't do it. This is kind of like Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. I'm going to have trouble remembering that. Oh, well. You don't really need first-person for anything. Not like in Banjo 2, where you can shoot eggs. It's fine conception, so I'm told. Well, make me young and dirty old. Let me kill you, fat hag. My brother will come and kick your butt. Rescue you? He will not dare. There's many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Klunga, push that switch! I'm tired of being an ugly witch! Yes, Mistress Gratin. I was on soon. Be ready. Banjo, help! <laughs> there he is! The fun begins! My tricks and tricks! We'll see who wins! Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy! I can't find a picture of the piece missing! Here's our prime collectible, the Jiggy. Like the stars in Mario 64, or the gold bananas in DK64, which didn't really come out at this time. Anyway, that was our first one. Actually, the first one has to be freaking easy. This is the first world on this mountain! To open the door, you'll need to find the jigsaw picture with... Oh, you're going too fast for me! Turn to the world, turn on the picture! Yes, fill in the missing pieces with the jigsaw pieces! We got the first jigsaw piece, Goggle Boy! 
Great! To fill in the pin you space on the picture, press A! If you don't want to use any jigsaw pieces, press B to leave! Well, of course we do. What else can we do? That's it! The picture's complete! And the door to Mumbo's Mountain is open! We can go in there now! That was such an easy fit! The others may just test your wit! Get used to Grunty's laugh, by the way. <laughs> like some taunt us in our lair. There are three new moves to learn in this world! Find my molehills, and I'll explain! <laughs> Yippee! You saved me! Grunt is in prison! Five of us gingos on each world! Free us all to get a jiggy! And our next collectible! I'm a note, one of a hundred on each world. Collect us to open the note doors. So, here's what you need to know about Mumbo's Mountain. It is extremely easy, not challenging at all. You can complete it in a heartbeat. Now, here's a major difference between the Xbox and N64 versions. In the N64 version, if you die, the notes respawn, and you have to collect them all again. Even though it does save your note score, you still have to get all the notes in the world if you want to get 100%. And you gotta get them all without dying or leaving, and I kinda skipped the beehive style dialogue, actually, sorry. Not important, though. Hmm. God, this conga street. Me hit bear with oranges. Don't touch Conga's blocks. Gah! Clever bear, find Conga's gold. You must search for ten of us on each world. We'll help you progress through the witch's lair. <laughs> yeah. The jiggies in this world are in extremely close proximity. When you're ready to leave this world, return to the start area and stand on the exit pad. Hey, that conga's orange. Put it back. Yum, oranges are nice. Hey, Stiddy Kong. Oh, Chippy, late conga's orange. Chippy, help that bear and bird. And we get another one. Da, da. Where are the eggs? Kazooie can learn to use us as ammo. Time for the buzzer to learn the ancient ways of the egg. I'm listening, Beal Breath. Oh, the rider let sugar and press Y to shoot an egg out of your mouth. Hey, sounds cool. Anything else? Sure. Press B and say you can shoot them up from behind. Let's see, sounds painful. I wish I never asked. Bird brain can carry 100 eggs in their backpack. Oh, they can also use the left stick to aim while you weren't crouching. Exciting, huh? Now that you've learned to use the eggs, here's something you need to practice with. Yeah. So, we're gonna come over here. Here's another collectible. Be Mumbo Dokken. Used for Mumbo Magic. There are 115 Mumbo tokens in the game, and you don't really get a counter for the total of them in each world. You just kind of have to stumble across them and hope you're lucky. They're kind of in pretty hidden areas. So definitely keep an eye out. Oh, I love the music here. Yeah, that jiggy just again. Dead giveaway, dead giveaway. Bring back so many memories. This music is kind of like the first level, like the first world on DK64, kind of had similar music to this, and I show that to you in my let's play. That um, pretty neat. Like this world is actually similar to Jungle Jates from DK64. Tell Trout will let Kazooie tackle steep slopes with ease. That sounds useful. How does she do it? Hold the right trigger, then press the left trigger. Continue to hold the right or left trigger while moving because they're around with the left stick. Go practice! But you do not need it here. <laughs> they tend out to be practice, but it's just easy. However, it helps you move a lot faster. Extremely useful.
So yeah, Momo's Mountain is very similar to Jungle Japes. You collected enough notes to break the first note door spell! Yeah, but we don't quite know about those yet. But hey, collecting notes is extremely easy in the first world. We might as well collect them all, and yeah, we're going to get 100% in this game, by the way. We're gonna get all the jiggies, all the notes, all the mumbo tokens, and the secrets. Wait, wait. Hey, ugly! No bears allowed! And Tinker's Tower! Yeah, that's why we had to kill you. Oh, here's something we can't do yet, but now I can, because of bottles. I call this the Pink Buster! Jump onto the- jump to the air, then press the right or left trigger to send Kazooie slamming hard down to the floor! Oh, I don't like the sound of that, Banjo! Get used to it, this girl! You'll be using it a lot! Whoa, Banjo! There's nothing more I can teach you on this world! So, yeah, it's the Ground Pound, classic platforming ability, and any platformer uses it a hell of a lot. So there's only five Mumbo tokens in this world, and it's pretty lucky, because we need five! So yeah, there's kind of, uh, like, about three Jiggies in this area. That was the first one. Here's the second one. Oh, wait, there's actually four jiggies in this area, so here's the second one. Here's the third one. We juju mumbo's totem pole. Feed us with nice blue stones. Aha, this trick actually, that little honeycomb actually fools a couple people. But with that, another challenge completed. So that's the fourth jiggy in this zone. Now let's get the fifth jiggy in this zone. Yeah, they're not trying to hide these whatsoever. At least it doesn't, uh, teleport you out of the world and make you come back for another challenge like Mario 64 does. No, we can just get the collectibles in one fell swoop. Would've been nice for Mario 64, but, well, I guess some challenges were impossible to recover from. Regardless. Oh yeah, all the honeycomb pieces, I've got to mention that. So yeah, there's two honeycomb pieces in each world, so we just cleared out the honeycomb pieces for this world. Now that we have the ground pen, we can return here. And we saw the switch earlier. We can push it now. This is a witch switch. There's one in each world. They will make a Jiggy appear in the hub world, and that will count toward the Jiggy total in Gruntilda's lair. It's kind of uh, better than how they did it in Banjo Tooie, because in Banjo Tooie, the hub world Jiggies were just the Jinja Jiggies. Me safe here. Bear can't hit Conga. Yar, egg hurt Conga. You can call this a boss if you want to. It's not really. You just gotta hit him three times, and his attacks are really easy to dodge. Uh, bear beat Conga. You get prize of bear. I just consider that a little mini boss. Yeah, it's nothing really. There was three jiggies in this area too. But now there's one more. It is technically the most difficult Jiggy, but at the same time, 
it's still Mumbo's Mountain. It's it's just too easy. Any player know how easy this world is. But hey, now we can do a cool gimmick of this game, and that is. Can we get the beehive dialogue again? Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, sorry. I killed your friend before I can say his dialogue. Be Mumbo, a summon in all game, can help Banjo and Filthy Feathered One. Watch it, Hut Boy! Mumbo's magic tokens, hid by which, find tokens, Mumbo help you. Ah, Banjo has plenty tokens, then on skull, and press X to see mighty Mumbo magic. Mumbo's magic free to change back, you've come when ready. Door might fit small, but not bad for first spell. Mumbo practice needed. So you want to check um, about the raptors in Mumbo's hut. So he's going to appear in a few worlds, and there might be stuff hidden in the raptors. You might want to check for that. So when you pay him the Mumbo tokens, you lose that number of Mumbo tokens. Which means you're gonna have to be collecting some as you progress, but actually we're gonna collect them all, cause hey, it's that type of game. It's relatively easy. It's harder on the N64, so, sadly. Uh... Yeah, about that whole thing with the notes, I'm not even sure which I like better. Hey, where'd you get their shorts? I want them! You found all 100 nuts on this world! Well done! I, I guess for certain worlds it's easier to not have to collect the nuts all over again. Give me that cool backpack or else! But still, kind of removes some of the challenge. So, we're on the very top of the world. If there's a very top of the world in any of the worlds, there will be a Jiggy up there, just because it's awesome. That pretty much signifies you got everything. Well, you got all the jiggies. Might not have gotten all the other collectibles. Which we did. So yeah, with that, the first world is 100%ed. Huh, here we go. Yeah. Hey, where'd you get those shorts? I want them! So you need the termite to climb up here to get that. See, some slopes are actually too steep for Kazooie's Talon Shrot. In that case, you would need something special like the World Transformation. Actually, I think this is the only World Transformation that does that. But, anyway. No magic get weak. Animal turn back. A magic go. Magic go gone. Let's go back to Baron Bird now. So, yeah. For almost each occasion, there will be something you can do in the hub world using your transformation. Remember that. For that reason, the transformation missions are the ones you want to do last. Hup! Yeah! I just like to do that. This is a new door, sealed by Grunty with one of her powerful musical spells! Open it up then, jam jars! It's not that simple. To open it, you must collect the musical notes from the world! How many do we need? The number on the door is the strength of the spell. The combined total of all your best net scores from the worlds must be at least this to break Grunty's magic. When you open a world door, Betty's escape in Rome once more. That text was delayed. Oh, your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Okay, we made that little info info bit go on longer than it should have, because. That grunty text was supposed to come after we exit the world because that enemy appeared. When you open a world door, um, the world enemies appear in the hub world, so, yeah. Well, next time we will progress to world two.